My name is Alfie. Photographer. I came here because there is a religious city in Japan. But I had no idea it was on top of a mountain. The universe of the Buddhist sage Kukai. A monk who meditated on truth and joy and believed enlightenment attainable in anyone's lifetime. On journeys in Japan, our ascent plunges us 1,200 years into the past, yet pulls us into the present and future. Koyasan is hidden deep in the mountains of northern Wakayama, 400 kilometers from Tokyo. I've come to Koyasan, one of the sacred places for Japanese Buddhism, and at the entrance there's this large gate, suggesting that from here on we're about to enter another world. Beyond the gate, Koyasan and its 117 temples stretch out. Kongo Buji is the head temple of the Koyasan Shingon Esoteric School. Inaba Jijun is a priest here. Known posthumously as Kobo Daishi, or Master, he began making his mark as a monk when he voyaged to China to study esoteric Shingon Buddhism called Mikyo in Japan. Appointed as a successor of the school, he returned home some two years later. Soon after, Kukai founded the first Shingon school in Japan in a site that called to him, Koyasan. この建物が集まる一角を壇上ガランと言います。小保大師空海が小屋さんを改装するときに真っ先に造園に取り組んだ場所です。中でもあの金本大道非常に重要です。どうぞ。おお、わあ、how oh, wow, divine。The pagoda interior has a rare three-dimensional mandala featuring the Dainichi Nyorai, a main object of worship in the Shingon school, 
surrounded by other statues and pillars. Shingon Mikyo には特に大事な経典が2つあります。第二次教と金剛朝陽です。この2つの経典に基づいて宇宙の真理をビジュアル化したものが金剛海曼荼、太蔵曼荼の2つです。空海はそれを立体化したのです。The state of enlightenment and the essence of the teachings. I wonder if it's possible to understand that. ここが五の院です。ここから二キロにわたって供養堂やお墓が建ち並んでいます。Not just graves, but impressive memorial markers were built to console the souls of the deceased. どのくらい供養塔があるのですか。今我々に見えているだけで20万基と言われています。地下には無数の供養塔が埋まっているそうです。1200年をかけて多くの人が残していかれました。The memorials are dedicated to warlords and other individuals who have left their mark on Japanese history. And アルフィさん、こちらをご覧ください。これは何ですか。これは遺跡五輪島といって、昔名もなき人たちが自分で石を削って五輪島にして収めたものです。小屋さんはどんな人でも受け入れてきた歴史があります。こちらは明智光秀という武将のお墓になります。明智光秀は自分の主人である織田信長を殺した武将として知られています。明智光秀 betrayed his master, the legendary warlord 織田信長 in Kyoto in 1582. In death, Akechi became Oda's sworn enemy. その殺された織田信長もこの小屋さんで祀られています。つまり。両者が一緒に祀られているというのが五ノ院の特徴です。Wow, two enemies buried in the same place. How interesting. 実はこの山道の奥に今も大師はおられます。誰もが身分や敵味方という概念を超えて大師をしたいこの地で共に供養されることを望んでいます。So Kukai is still here. この奥の五秒という場所にいらっしゃいます。空海 has been in eternal meditation here since the year 835, praying for people's happiness. Meditation requires some sustenance, so monks deliver meals to Kukai twice a day. People really think that Kukai is still here, and that's a deep faith which remains unchanged. We have a tour that you can enjoy nature of Koyasan. Would you like to join me? I'd love to. That sounds great. Okay, let's go. Tanaka Atsuyo is a forest 
Therapy Guide. And for her practice, Goya San is sublime. Forest therapy is forest bathing in which participants can uh, walk through, uh, immerse themselves in the beautiful nature. Let's just stop. Now listen. Mm, nice. It's nice just to stop and listen because the water is incredible sound. Very refreshing. And so maybe some little birds, leaves in the wind. Mm. さん、なんか甘い匂いしませんか。しますね。な、な、いや、わかんない。何これ。葉っぱ。そう、この匂い嗅いでみてください。お。わお。very sweet。like a very nice. Yep. So I have something for you. For now, why don't you take a rest? Mm. It's ready. Okay. Dozo. Wow. Alfie san, here's your coffee. Thank you. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> So, how was today? It's been amazing, thank you so much. Kondo Seshu is the chief priest here. Shukubo originally only accommodated monks and worshippers, but that all changed some time ago when their doors slid open to tourists too. Where where have you come from? So we came from Italy. Uh huh. What brought you to this place? Uh, a different experience uh -huh. in my life. Yeah. <laughs> something new and Great. something deep. We are into meditation as well, uh -huh. and into, let's say, retirement and switching off, charging yeah. batteries. Standard rooms are divided by Fusuma sliding partitions and guests sleep on futons. But this shukubo actually has... This doesn't look like a temple. It's like a five-star hotel. Amazing. Yeah, 
The room also features contemporary art and sumptuous beds. Guests can also learn a little of the teachings of the Shingon School. This meditation style is called Ajikan, which involves breathing. And your thumbs, put your thumbs together like this. Just a short experience of this meditation, but I feel more focused, or just like now I have a a tool to focus every day, relaxed and calm. Mmm, dinner. Oh, this must be Shojin Yori. The cuisine absent of meat, fish, dairy, and ingredients with strong aromas. It is based on the Buddhist principle of not killing. Two tofu dishes are essential to shoji. Goma dofu, which actually has no soybean, but is named for the form, and main ingredient of sesame. Grinding the sesame was traditionally the meditative work of the monks. The other, koya dofu, was a delicious accident. One frigid winter, some tofu froze over. When thawed and cooked, it tasted different, but also very good. Later, koya dofu took off throughout the country, simmered in slightly sweetened broth. Let's try this koya dofu first. The tofu is a little crunchy, but the main uh, thing is that the, the broth seeps out of it. It's like like a sponge full of tasty soup. Amazing. Okay, goma dofu. Oh wow, it's rich sesame flavor, very smooth. And because it's sat in the sauce, and you, the last flavor you get is the sauce, which is like the perfect end to eating that tofu, it's beautiful. So it's a really big group and it's all foreigners from so many different countries, it doesn't feel like Japan at all. Okay, we're in Okonoin on the night tour, walking tour. Um, through this area where there's a bunch of graves and forests. Um, so yeah, the, typically the people who are staying at the temples overnight come on the tour. Can you see this small temple? There is a famous Buddha. His name is Sweti Buddha. When you are suffering, when you have pain, you sweat often when you are in pain. Pray to this Buddha. And then he's gonna take pain away from you. I uh, absolutely loved it. I thought it was really quite beautiful. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, it's really interesting kind of what cemeteries can teach you about life. And yeah. I thought that was kind of the yeah, most yeah. exciting thing. Definitely more mysterious, but definitely a lot more peaceful uh -huh. than during the daytime. Well, an amazing, spiritual, and little bit mysterious evening in this beautiful location at night. And now I'm gonna go back to that gorgeous temple and have a sleep 
and a nice bath. So, good night. The Goma Fire Ritual, key in Shingon. Kukai imported this rite from China. その方のお願いを思い叶えるということが全身だと思いますけど我々の社会は競争する社会ではなくて頭の良し悪しではなくて真面目にコツコツと日々努力を重ねることが必要なんです in Goyasan, a novice monk is called Ajari. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Ajari no kata desu ka? Ie, ano, mada shugyo sou desu. Kerem Salam Tunch is from Turkey's capital, Ankara. He is in training here at Yochiin Temple. So this is my home temple. Yeah, it's beautiful. I thought that most Turkish people are Muslims, no? Yes. Uh, on paper, it's like 99%. And I think you can put all Turkish Buddhists into a small room and we'll all fit there, basically. After converting to Buddhism nine years ago, at the age of 21, he set out to become a monk. So, Karen, why choose Koyasa? So I came to Japan because I was uh, studying um, Japanese at university in France. And, uh, well, Koyasan specifically because I was interested in Shingon. Uh, I had studied it uh, as I was studying Buddhism at the same time. And then I was sort of introduced here to this temple. And what was it about Shingon and Kukai that attracted your interest? So, well, Shingon has a very broad outlook uh, in its teachings, which I really like. And, well, Kukai, uh, you know, he studied foreign languages, I studied foreign languages, and he questioned his life when, I, when he was in university. I had that kind of experience as well, so I thought, oh, this is someone I can really relate to, so uh, that attracted me to his teachings. His temple is also a shkubo. So I have some work to do here, so please excuse okay. me for a moment. So you're, you're helping with the people who stay here? Yes, so uh, making rooms and you know, cleaning them and then serving the, um, the customers who come here. That's also... Mm. All that, I think, can be included as part of one's spiritual practice. So if you manage to do that, you know, it becomes something other than just like a business thing. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, you know, it teaches you a uh, lot of small details which then uh, can actually have an impact in your life. Aratano Koe of Yochin is mentoring Kerem. I'm still 26 years old. I'm not a person who knows anything about Kerem. 修行していく姿にとても共感いたします。私は海外の人にも真言宗の教えを知っていただきたいと思っているので、まずはケルムさんがアジャリになるために
それを支えたいと思っていますはい。For over 1,200 years, the people of Khoisan have remained loyal to the faith of their ancestors. And moreover, it's a place with many sights to see. Khoisan was not the closed off place one might imagine from the word religious. Rather, it was open and welcoming to all people, including foreigners. I felt this is because the people of Khoisan not only want to preserve their unique culture and history, but also want to pass it on. This is also because of the progressive and open minded Kukai. To fully enjoy such a Khoisan and be part of it has been an invaluable experience for me. Less of a destination, more perhaps the start of a richer journey. One that starts right now with me taking a few more pictures. It takes about five hours to reach Koyasan from Tokyo via Shinkansen to Shin Osaka with transfers to local lines and then cable car. <laughs> 